Right now in Pennsylvania, peregrines are threatened. When birds are raised in a human environment, they do not do as well as those that are raised on historical cliff sites. Most of our peregrines that are in a human environment, they end up in a place that it's not safe for them to stay. So this morning we went to one of the local rehabbers and picked up a peregrine fledgling that was grounded late last week. After it had been evaluated, it was determined that the bird was in good health. And so we developed a plan to return that bird back to the general area where its nest was. We attached a nanotag backpack, which is essentially a small transmitter that will talk with the MODIS network. And we'll use that to track the movements of this bird for the first short period in its life. The MODIS network is a series of data receivers that are spread across Pennsylvania and across the Northeast. But it's essentially a series of receivers that anytime one of these nano tags comes within range of it, they talk to each other and so that we have an idea of where that particular animal is that's wearing that receiver. The harnesses are sewn on with cotton thread and when that thread degrades and breaks, then the birds will be able to take their backpacks off. Human beings are often put in a position where they have to make a lot of guesses about what's going on. And that's kind of what we've been doing with peregrines that are raised in a human environment. This study is our opportunity to try to quantify what these young birds are actually doing, where they're going, how they're spending their time, and figure out where the biggest risks are to them during this relatively vulnerable period in their life cycle and then hopefully identify things we can do to help birds in the human environment survive and uh, be more comparable to what happens when they're on cliff faces. After we attached the transmitter, we took it back to its natal site and released the bird on the roof of that building. So now presumably it's reunited with its family, its nestmates, and its parents.